Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Well, we are really close to uh, maybe doing something about Monsanto, okay? May 25th, it is a Saturday, is the Worldwide March Against Monsanto, okay? Now, in the Show More Info box below this video, I'm going to give you a link that you can go to, and it will show you the nearest march in your area and this is worldwide ours is going to be on Parliament Hill in Ottawa so I'm going to read you the official statement then I'm going to um, I'm going to give you the March Against Monsanto website and hopefully if enough of us do this we can make a difference I'm praying we can make a difference here's the official statement from March Against Monsanto on Facebook on May 25th, that's a Saturday, activists around the world will unite to march against Monsanto. Why do we march? Research studies have shown that Monsanto's genetically modified foods can lead to serious health conditions such as the development of cancer tumors, infertility, and birth defects. In the United States, the FDA, the agency tasked with ensuring food safety for the population is steered by ex-Monsanto executives. And we feel that, that that's a questionable conflict of in interest and explains the lack of government-led research on the long-term effects of GMO products. Recently, the U.S. Congress and President collectively passed the nickname Monsanto Protection Act that, among other things, bans courts from halting the sale of Monsanto genetically modified seeds. For too long, Monsanto has been the benefactor of corporate subsidies and political favoritism. Organic and small farmers suffer losses while Monsanto continues to forge its monopoly over the world's food supply. Monsanto's GMO seeds are harmful to the environment. For example, scientists have indicated that they have caused colony collapse among the world's bee population. What are solutions we advocate? Labeling of GMOs so that the consumers can make informed decisions. Repealing relevant provisions of the U.S. Monsanto Protection Act. Calling for further scientific research on the health effects of GMOs. Holding Monsanto supporting politicians accountable through direct communication, grassroots journalism, social media, etc. Continuing to inform the public about Monsanto's secrets. We will not stand for cronyism. We will not stand for poison. That's why we march against Monsanto. Saturday, May 25th. This is our chance to put our money where our mouth is, folks. And do something. Show these people we have a right to at least label it. We have a right to say... Say no to GMO. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. And if it's possible, you can bet your fur boots that this woman is going to be on Parliament Hill on Saturday, May 25th. Take care.